Hi, Dr. Keith Forworth coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. Today we're going to be talking about thyroid nodules and what we can do about them. And I'm really excited to introduce to you a brand new technique that we can use to not necessarily eliminate thyroid nodules, but to substantially reduce their size. That's non-surgical. It is much safer uh, than surgery and it's a great new alternative for the right patient. So let's first start with the thyroid. So we have the thyroid low in the neck and as you know the thyroid is a butterfly shaped uh, organ and sometimes what we'll find is that a nodule will begin to grow inside the thyroid and that nodule if it grows bigger and bigger and bigger can become a problem. Now we first need to figure out whether or not a nodule is benign or malignant because if it's a malignant, it's not really a nodule, it's really a thyroid cancer and that is not um, something that's dealt with in any other way than surgery because surgery is such a good cure for thyroid cancer. But if we're talking about benign thyroid nodules, um, then we have a few options and traditionally a nodule would be taken care of by surgical removal. Okay, and that could be either a hemithyroidectomy where we take out half the thyroid or a complete thyroidectomy if you had large nodules on both sides. But we have an alternative and this is called RFA. That stands for radiofrequency ablation and it's a new technique here in the United States but it's actually not new. This has been done in South Korea for at least a decade and it's been done in Europe and it's been done in South America. So there's a large body of experience, but it's a new technique here to the United States. It was just approved by the FDA about a year ago, and it's becoming more and more of a popular option. So let me tell you what RFA does. Well, first, we mentioned before, it's a non-surgical technique, and we take a probe, and we use radio frequency energy to ablate the inside of a thyroid nodule. So for just clarity, let's just say that this is my thyroid nodule. What we do is we take a probe and we come down into the bottom of it and we apply this radio frequency energy and it ablates the tissue in one particular spot. And so we advance the needle and progressively we make internal lesions inside the nodule itself. Then we move the needle and we begin doing it progressively until we get the entire nodule treated and what we expect to find is about an 80% reduction in the size of a nodule over the course of about six months. Now most of this happens in the first month, predominantly in the first one to three months, but you can still get shrinkage of the nodule up to six months and we expect the nodule to be reduced by about 80% with a single treatment that can be done just under local anesthesia in the office. So it's very, very safe. Um, who is this RFA procedure good for? Um, well, it's good with anyone who has a nodule who's not looking for a surgical solution. Someone who, let's say, has a nodule that's very visible and they don't like the unsightly look of it, this will reduce it by 80%. And most time, we'll take a very visible nodule and turn that into a nodule that virtually no one's going to notice. It's also good for people where the nodules are beginning to press in and reduce the size of the airway. So for people who are having compression of their airway, it's a very good technique. Also, if you have a nodule that's big enough, many times that nodule will be pushing in on the esophagus and people feel that while they're swallowing. Sometimes people will complain that the food or pills will get hung up near where that nodule is and so they'll have trouble swallowing and reducing the size of it in this non-surgical manner takes care of those type of symptoms. The other beauty of RFA is that it doesn't leave a single scar. In fact, it's just a small little needle entrance point that heals up super great. So we won't, we won't be leaving any scars behind and we do this with the patient awake. So it's very safe. It doesn't leave a scar. It reduces the size of benign nodules by about 80% in a single treatment and it's a great option for people who have thyroid nodules that are needing to be tackled. And it's a great alternative to surgery. It may not be for everybody, so you do need to talk to your surgeon about this. Um, but for those that 
do qualify for this. It's a great option. And uh, if you have any questions about that, we'd be happy uh, to talk to you about it. Check out our website. We'll have more information on this. And we'll also be looking at putting some patient testimonials up and some video uh, to further uh, get you informed on this great new technique.